The season 4 finale of The Boys has a number of noteworthy revelations, and it raises the stakes considerably for the fifth and final season of the Amazon series. The Boys team defeats the Starlight Imposter in Episode 8 following the shapeshifter twist of The Boys season for Episode 7. However, even though they are able to preserve Robert Singer's life, in the end, the presidential candidate loses, the plan of Homelander and Sage to seize the White House is successful, and Singer is taken into custody for the murder of Victoria Newman, naturally, Singer is not personally responsible for Newman's death. In the epilogue, Butcher is forced to select the devil on his shoulder following a terrible occurrence involving Ryan, which unleashes his full potential as a superhero, and just as Huey and the boys are about to offer Newman a deal wherein they would safeguard her in return for assistance in stopping Homelander, Butcher shows there. In a sinister turn of events, Butcher uses his newly acquired power to murder Newman in the conclusion of the boys' season 4. In a sense, this puts the White House in the hands of Homelander and Sage, in the end of the boys' season 4, Sister Sage and Homelander manage to infiltrate the White House, despite a few unanticipated setbacks to their plan. If the plan to kill Singer doesn't work, Homelander declares defeat. But before long, Sage arrives at Vought Tower, full of joy. She confesses that a recording of Singer criticizing the boys for not killing her sooner is what led to the assumption that Singer is to blame for Newman's demise. Invoking the 25th Amendment, this links the CIA to Newman's demise and allows a more accommodating politician to become the presidency. In the season 4 finale of The Boys, Speaker of the House Stephen Calhoun becomes the presidency for the time being and swears allegiance to Homelander. The last scenes of season 4 clearly indicate that Homelander will be in charge of the US government, even though Calhoun holds the title. Invoking martial law and appointing a veritable army of superheroes to hunt down traitors, he has Calhoun do this. When the boys season 4 concludes, the majority of the team is in difficulty as a result. It's also probably how Homelander will implement the detention camps he intends to establish, when Sage says she's excited about phase 2 of her plans, it's unclear if that's what she means. We'll have to wait for The Boys Season 5 to find out what Homelander has planned next. As she is equally unaware of what's going on as the audience. There's no way this could be good news. Furthermore, once Homelander follows through on his pledge to locate the boys, the majority of them won't be around to slow them down or stop them, after Butcher murders Newman, the boys' squad flees, but they don't make it very far. In the Season 4 conclusion of The Boys, Homelander's army tracks them down quickly, and they are completely outclassed by the soups. As Kate manipulates Frenchie into choosing Vought, Sam from Gen V demonstrates that he is Kimiko's equal. Love Sausage and his group, meanwhile, attack MM at the airport and drag him out before he has a chance to defend himself. Huey is arrested when Cindy almost drops a boat on Annie in Huey's automobile, with her powers restored, Annie is the only one to flee, taking off in her jet. Nor does Butcher appear to be on Homelander's radar, though it's unclear if he remains on the boys' roster following his antics with Newman. Because of their part in Newman's demise, Homelander rounds up the main characters from the program. Like he states in his address, he intends to hold them responsible, however, it's likely Homelander has other motives as well. If the public approves of his actions, they'll pave the way for his internment camps. He'll also be free of interference, one of the boys' team's few victories in the season 4 finale is Starlight regaining her powers, but it doesn't happen until the very end. While driving with Huey, she learns she can call upon her light once more. It's fortunate timing since Cindy attacks them a few seconds later. In the boys' season 5, Starlight will need to use her flying talents to battle Homelander and Vought. Throughout Season 4, Starlight is hindered by her lack of powers, particularly as she is unsure of the cause of their breakdown, Starlight's powers appear to vanish during her identity dilemma in Season 4. And it is most likely because that plot point is resolved in the finale that they reappearance. In The Boys Season 4, Starlight battles to accept her past and the unkempt, melancholy pieces of herself. In the last episode, she informs Huey of this as well. He does, however, maintain that she is flawless just the way she is, and this seems to be helping her. 
Her tension and guilt disappear as she comes to embrace herself, and Starlight regains her abilities. Kimiko speaks in the season 4 finale for the first time in four seasons, which is another unexpected but encouraging development for the boys. The boys features Kimiko as a silent character due to her trauma-related mutism. It isn't like Kimiko is mute. She can't, though, as a result of her body reacting to the trauma. In the most recent episode, this is changed, and the episode ends with her repeatedly yelling, no. When considered in light of Homelander's takeover, it's a potent reaction, although the reason behind Kimiko's current voice discovery is unclear, Frenchie is probably a factor. The season 4 finale of The Boys saw her and Frenchie finally confess their affections for one another and begin the process of forgiving themselves for their pasts. Kimiko's ability to begin healing stems from her ability to process her pain and find joy. However, the idea of losing Frenchie is perhaps even more devastating, and it makes her react in a manner she has never been able to. In season 4 of The Boys, Ryan is largely missing throughout Homelander's unexpected takeover. The season 5 villain arc, though, might be set up for by the end. Before anything worse happens, Grace takes Ryan to see Butcher, who thinks he's finally going to pass away. The truth of Homelander's schemes and what he did to Becca is revealed to Ryan by Grace and Butcher. It is obvious that Ryan is overburdened, and Grace makes a grave error. On top of everything Ryan needs to digest. She discloses that they are inside a bunker designed to hold Soup's captive, given his extraordinary strength, Ryan pushes Grace when she won't let him go, killing her in the process. Butcher is forced to bear the consequences as Ryan flees. Butcher looks to his visions of Joe Kessler, realizing that Ryan has the capacity to follow in his father's footsteps. Butcher is embracing Kessler at this point, indicating that he is making a decision. Kessler is the devil on Butcher's shoulder. During seasons 3 and 4, Ryan's actions make Butcher want to despise all soups even more, despite his best efforts to control his animosity, Butcher embracing Kessler pushes him to a more extreme view. But it also allows him to unlock the power the boys season 4 has been teasing. As it turns out, Butcher himself is a soup, the result of him taking Compound V in the hopes of eradicating the effects of Temp V. Unfortunately, Butcher's power seems to be heavily influenced by his Temp V use. The Boys Season 4 finale reveals that he can call upon tumorous tentacles, which shoot out of his chest and can rip people in half. The terrible events that take place in the rest of the finale begin when Butcher uses his newly acquired power to stop the boys from doing business with Newman. With his tentacles, he rips Newman in half and declares to the other members of the team, no deals. Considering the aftermath, this appears illogical, yet it makes sense in the context of Butcher's epilogue. Butcher loses faith in doing the right thing after selecting Kessler, and he is prepared to eliminate any soup who poses a threat. He kills Newman for this reason. In addition, he takes the virus that Frenchie created, which he intends to use to murder Homelander, as though the boys season 4 finale isn't thrilling enough. It also features a post credit scene that will get viewers excited for Season 5. The scene sees Calcown leading Homelander to what looks like one of the CIA's soup-proof bunkers. There, the two of them look upon Jensen Ackles' soldier boy, who was put back in cryosleep after the boys' Season 3's ending. Homelander marvels that the soup has been here the whole time. But he doesn't reveal what he wants with him. Homelander is looking for Soldier Boy for two reasons, neither of which is likely to work out well. Soldier Boy is almost as strong as Homelander, therefore it's possible that the Seven's leader needs his assistance in apprehending traitors and non-soups. Assuming Soldier Boy would actually listen to Homelander. He would be a valuable asset. The other possibility is that Homelander, who yearns for his father's praise so much throughout the boys, is still looking for it. The latter seemed more plausible in light of his teary countenance. In any case, Season 5 will feature more of Soldier Boy. That concludes subjects, unlock the mysteries of narrative with our YouTube channel's guide to the art of cinema. Join us as we explore the plots, characters, and pure enchantment that movies bring into our lives. From writing to screen, we have you covered. 
Join us as we examine, evaluate, and celebrate the magic of movies. For more videos, subscribe to our channel.